Right. In this section of the chapter, we are going to talk about skewness of data. Um, so skewness is um, a tendency of the data. We are going to see if our data is more or less central or is, uh, has a tendency to lower or um, higher values than the mean or the central value. So we have like three different things. Uh, the data is symmetrical when the mode, the median and the mean are the same and the graphs look like this, something like this. Um, if you have a box plot, the median is in the middle of the uh, lower and upper quartile or we can say that the difference between Q2 and Q1 is the same as the difference between Q3 and Q2. That's symmetrical, so it looks like perfection. <laughs> um, if we have lower values, so instead of being symmetrical, our gra graph tends to towards lower values, we have positive skew. So in a box plot, we look something like this. So the difference between Q2 and Q1 is smaller than the difference between Q3 and Q2. And the mode is smaller than the median and smaller than the mean. And we have negative skew when that happens the other way. So instead of having our values central, we have them towards greater values. Uh, so the difference in a box plot between Q3 and Q2 is smaller than the difference between Q2 and Q1. Mode is greater than the median and greater than the mean. Yeah, so these are the three types of skewness that we can have, and that's what they are going to ask us in the questions. Um, we can measure the skewness in different ways, but one very, very usual way is this formula here. It's three times the difference between the mean and the median divided by the standard deviation. When this is zero, that means that the mean and the median are the same, we have symmetrical. When this is positive, the mean is greater than the median. So um, when this value is positive, we have positive skew. When this value is negative, we have negative skew. The higher the value it is, the higher the skewness. Um, so how does that look in a question? We have, for example, a stem, a stem and leaf diagram showing the scores um, of a group of students in a test. So the key is six, one means 61, so the scores are 21, 22, 28, and so on. Modal value is 68, mean is 57.46, so they have say of us some work giving us those numbers, and the standard deviation is 15.7. Uh, they ask us first to find the three quartiles for this set. So as we have done before, remember Q1, I need to find one quarter of the data that I have, which are 50. I have 50 values. So one quarter of 50 is 12.5, is a, a decimal number, so I'm going to round up. Remember watching the video um, in chapter two about quartiles if you need. So I'm going to check the 13th value, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 46, um, 46 is our Q1, Q1 is 46, then I, for Q2 I'm going to check the mid value, so one half of 50 is 25, when it's whole number I check the 25th and the next one, the 26th, and I find the mid value, so I go this was the 13th, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So I'm going to check the mid value between the 59 and the 61, which is 60. So Q2 is the mid value between 49 and 61, which is 60. And Q3 is three quarters three quarters of 50, which is, um, what, 37.5. So I'm going to check, I'm going to round up, and I'm going to check uh, the 38th value. So this was 26, 27, 28, 29, 
So it's 69. 69. This is my Q3. Q3 is 39. Oh, sorry, 69. So these are my quartiles. Then, next question say, calculate the value of 3 mean minus median standard deviation and comment on the skewness. Remember that this is a measure of skewness and I'm going to find it. So for B, we just do three times the mean, which is given in the question, is 57.46, 57.46 minus the, med um, the median, and the median is Q2, so is this 60 here, 60, all divided by the standard deviation, which is given, and is 15.7, so all divided by 15.7, and this value is minus 0 0.486, which means that my skewness is negative. So negative skewness. Yeah, and that's what you just have to say. It's just you find the value and then you decide if it's positive or negative or the thing is symmetrical. That could be the case. Um, then they ask us, Use two further methods to show that the data are negatively skewed. Um, remember, if, if I got you the definition again, one other way of seeing it is um, see what happens with this difference between Q2 and Q1, or Q3 and Q2, and then compare mode, median, and mean. So let's going to do that. Um, and I think I'm going to do it in the next page. So I'm going to just remove this and carry on here. Um, so I'm going to do Q3 minus Q2, and I'm going to compare that with Q2 minus Q1. So Q3 minus Q2, Q3 minus Q2 is 69 minus 60 is 9, and Q2 minus Q1, Q2 minus q1 is 14 is 14 therefore q2 minus q1 is greater than q3 minus q2 that means it's negative skewness that's as we expected and the other way of checking is comparing the mean the median and the mode so the mean we say was 57.46 it was given 57.4.6, uh, the median is Q2, we found it here and it's 60, and the mode, um, it was given and it was 68, so that means the mode is greater than the median and the median is greater than the mean, which means what we expected, that this negative skewness. Yeah, so these are another two ways of uh, checking the skewness of the data. Yes, so this is what we do for the for analyzing the skewness of some data. And with this, we are finishing this section.